так мы проезжаем дорогу, блядь. Ты пиздец. Давай на мэн. Yeah, and, and you thought your commute was bad. That, of course, is footage coming out of Ukraine. And thank goodness none of, the, none of these drivers were from Florida. Because seriously, none of these people know how to drive here. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukanowski here of WeAreChange.org. And things are getting pretty wild and crazy like Hunter Biden. As, of course, the plan is out in the open for Klaus Schwab as the global elites scramble to get everything they can on the larger sinking ship, which many people are describing as the American empire. Lots of crazy news domestically, internationally, with the ruble, with the petrodollar. We're going to get into all of that plus a lot more. And there's so much news to get into. We're just going to jump right into it. As of course, very surprisingly, the Washington Post finally has just admitted that the Hunter Biden laptop story is real and true. Nine months after receiving a copy of the hard drive, which they decided was, quote, Russian propaganda. And now turns out to be absolutely true. The Washington Post even had its cyber forensics expert validate the material and concluded that a lot of the elements that were suppressed from the American public, censored by big tech monopoly companies that were working with the U.S. government and intelligence agencies to suppress this story, as of course many people believed helped Joe Biden become president of the United States. Since, uh, you know, there's a lot of clear corruption in those documents that were received. And, you know, the backing of bioweapon facilities working on deadly pathogens in Ukraine. Yeah, you know, lots of important details that, of course, NPR said was, was not interesting. And they, quote, didn't want to waste the viewer's time on this story since it wasn't a real story. It was pure distraction. That's literally the official notice that NPR, National Public Radio, sent out there to the general public when this laptop first emerged, highlighting some very clear concerns surrounding all of this. And it is very telling that the Washington Post, CNN, the New York Times are going scorched earth over this laptop as of course previously they were running a larger cover-up operation of it why are they doing this now where's hunter biden well he's in uh, santa monica living it up at a swanky restaurant eating gourmet food living his fancy life and this is why one out of many stories that the corporate media has failed on has led to many people turning off the corporate media distrusting them as of course cnn just recently launched their latest streaming service, which they hoped would have competed with Netflix. This as we're getting many reports that the service is not getting a lot of positive response to the point where there have been alleged layoffs announced on the first day of the launch of this. And they're already doing a 50% off for life sale as the projections are quote lackluster. And what did you expect for the most incredulous liars, PR representatives, representatives of the ruling elites that are literally willing to say anything for a buck. And again, it's the downfall of corporate media that has allowed other individuals like comedians like Joe Rogan to take their place, who of course have absolutely dominated CNN in the ratings. Why? Because he does a way better honest job at trying to have a real discussion with people rather than of course regurgitating the PR talking points of Klaus Schwab, which we're going to be talking about in just a little bit. But this is why Joe Rogan has been the number one attack target of the corporate media. He has faced a lot of scrutiny, a lot of pressure, which I would say he definitely didn't handle in the best of ways. And he even announced on one of his recent podcasts that, quote, he will quit podcasting forever if he has to, quote, walk on eggshells, describing, of course, the current media landscape that is very censorious and viciously attacks people if they don't toe the lines and read the PR scripts that they're told to do so. Question the scripts? Nope, your persona non grata. And that's why we started Luke uncensored.com our own platform three master class of exclusive merchandise at cost available to you and of course videos almost every single day in today's video we are going to be going over the latest news of biden taking a fourth procedure this as of course there's some other medical professionals that have their point of view that we will be talking about this as the chinese government has just released their robot dog locking people down inside of shanghai 
And in some cities, the Chinese government is literally exterminating people's pets. Why is this happening? We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more later on today on LukeUncensored.com. I hope you join us for the free open discussion and dialogue that we could finally have on our own platform. Sign up right now to join the conversation and to check out all the perks that we have available for you all on LukeUncensored.com. Now, as we're talking right now, there is the World Government Summit happening right now in Dubai, where world leaders and technocrats have gathered together to literally call for a new world order, something that the corporate media says is a conspiracy, doesn't exist, but uh, there sure is a lot of powerful individuals calling for this, along, of course, with the Great Reset and Building Back Better, all the globalist talking points and dog whistles that we have been hearing about that we've been told just don't exist and are a figment of our imagination. Well, they're not. They're real. And when we have statements like this from the head of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, it's, it's worth considering what they're saying. In my opinion, this is the most eye-opening thing Klaus had to say during this conference. We do not yet know the full extent and the systemic and structural changes which will happen. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems and supply chains will be deeply affected. You bet they will be, and in other words, you will be screwed by these globalists who created this problem and you pay with the ass. Now, my translation might be a little bit off, but I think that's pretty, sh pretty much what he was trying to tell you, as of course, one of the major themes is building the cities of the future using technology to, of course, what Klaus has called the fourth industrial revolution, and, you know, putting everything online in the digital sphere, as of course... The Economic Forum has just done the cyber polygon world hacking exercises with Russia. Sounds like a great idea, especially with the latest news that we're getting that shows how Apple, Facebook, or Meta, whatever you, the hell you call them, has given out private sensitive details of their users to hackers who were able to forge legal requests. Apple and, and Facebook didn't do their due diligence. They just literally handed over your most intimate, closest, private details to criminal hacker elements. Digitizing everything sounds like a great idea. And of course, with centralizing everything, which is also what they're calling for. I think it's fair to say that we are dealing with a financial reckoning because of the current corrupted system that, of course, leaders who created this current problem are all a part of the World Economic Forum. Of course, on average, an American is expected to now get a 10 to 25% pay cut. 90% of the country is expected to lose 10 to 25% of the value of their dollar, of their purchasing power. Of course, inflation has ripped through this country because of very poor centralized big banker corporate plans instituted by Klaus Schwab's friends, have now created an absolutely devastating financial situation for you, your future children, and your children's children. You could see it, especially in major urban areas. Wages have increased 4.5%. Officially, inflation has gone up 7%. It's usually a lot higher. Corporate profits have gone up 25%. Billionaire wealth has gone up 70%. All of this as homelessness becomes less and less ignorable as even congresswoman maxine waters is threatening reporters over reporting the true scale of the situation happening in major cities like los angeles all of this as the situation for the u.s petrodollar is expected to get a lot worse as biden is ordering more our oil reserves to be released gas prices have been continuing to go up Meanwhile, the Russian ruble has been uh, going up. I uh, wonder why, why, why that is. Well, that's probably because Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, has just announced that as of tomorrow, countries hostile to him, his military efforts inside of Ukraine will now have to pay for gas and oil with rubles, not U.S. dollars, not euros. And he has told countries that he will be cutting them off from energy supply if they do not pay with the ruble, specifically saying we get nothing free of charge and we are not going to engage in charity either. The German economic minister has rejected this demand and said that this is a form of, quote, blackmail. This, as Germany is already rationing off gas, as of course, they just a few months ago have started to turn off all of their nuclear reactors inside of their country 
because of Greta Thunberg. An idiotic, stupid policy that of course now endangers the lives of many people living in Germany. What will unfold here? Will Germany crack and buy Russian gas with rubles? Well, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on it as of course Russia has set up its deadline. Poland has already announced that it's not going to be buying energy from Russia as the price of energy has already skyrocketed in that country. Biden releasing some reserves here is absolutely little too late, especially with his domestic energy policies that have also shot the American people in the foot, just like Germany's policies that, of course, prioritized green corporate policies rather than, of course, logical, sensical ones. And when you're at the pump, you have to understand that this is a response directly to the clear intervention that this administration had towards the global, global economy, domestic energy production, exploration, as, of course, it launched a full-scale attack on the American energy sector. You are now paying the price for it, not just at the pump, not just with your food, not just with your rent, but every aspect of your existence. Poverty is only going to be increasing. And we're reaching a situation where, of course, the globalists that helped create it are looking for an opportunity to build it back better, a great reset that, of course, will only benefit them even more. As, of course, all the policies that they have been proposing have created this, and they're going to make this situation that much worse for everyone else. Lots of crazy things are happening in this world. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are strapped in because it's only going to get a lot more crazy from here as of course the price of energy is expected to go up even more dramatically during the summer as it's already extremely high what does that mean for for price of, of of food what does that mean for the price of living it's going to go up dramatically great news for the globalist billionaire class that of course has been enriching themselves during this entire turmoil especially during the last two years that the billionaires increased their wealth more than they ever have in recorded human history and they're still not done they want more more power more control as of course it's it's a drug that these people are hooked on and that they will stop nothing from achieving you're dealing with a bunch of deranged sociopathic lunatics and that's me just putting it lightly i got a lot more to say i'm going to be saying that specifically on lukeuncensored.com hope to see you there for the conversation if you thought we did an okay job breaking down this situation explaining it to you in a reasonable way that made you understand it a little bit better share this video with your friends and family members it's more imperative it's more important than ever and because you do that i'm still able to be here every single day if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be here i did a pretty interesting video about the larger financial ramifications that you could watch here surrounding the great reset and new world order that that doesn't exist definitely watch it if you have some spare time i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you again and this is why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org